when it comes to the demands and the needs of a new state head what exactly is the problem you said that justice is not being done that, that, justice, justice is not being done nine jails na badhyata kendram pai undannaru cm chandrababu for the past few weeks all eyes have been on andhra pradesh as its chief minister chandrababu naidu quit the ruling alliance there is a question in everybody's mind about the reasons behind this decision the story began 4 years ago on february 18th 2014 In spite of strong protests from the 13 districts of Andhra Pradesh, Congress and BJP decided to divide the state into Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Sab ke darwaje band karke sadan order mein nahi tha tab bhi Andhra ke logon ki bhavnaon ka aadar kiye bina Telangana banane ke paksh mein hum bhi the. The new state of Telangana got the existing capital Hyderabad, which is the largest city. contributing a major part of the revenue of the combined state andhra pradesh inherited 58% of population 46% of the revenue and 58% of debt forcing it to be a revenue deficit state from day 1 the per capita income of telangana after reorganization is 1 lakh 12000 rupees whereas it is 82800 rupees for andhra pradesh Almost all the assets, the central and state government institutions, health and educational infrastructure, and employment generating industries were concentrated in and around Hyderabad. The new state of Andhra Pradesh was facing the following problems: resource gap deficit, lack of capital and urban infrastructure, lack of employment generating industries, lack of health and educational institutions. tapping the irrigation potential 7 out of 13 districts are backward there was an uproar in andhra pradesh the sentiments of the people of andhra pradesh were echoed by the then leader of opposition in rajya sabha when the bill reached the rajya sabha bowing to the sentiments the then prime minister announced further concessions to ap who have spoken especially andhra pradesh of all regions of the state particularly of simandra i would like to make a few further announcements in this regard first for purposes of central assistance special category oh! special category the resource gap that may arise in the successor state of andhra pradesh in the very first year will be compensated in the regular union budget for 2014-15 Special category status will be extended to the successor state of Andhra Pradesh. Special development package for the backward regions of Rayal Seema and North Andhra. This development package will be on the lines of the Koraput Bolangir Kalahandi KBK special plan in Odisha and the Bundelkhand special package in Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. Both the national parties Congress and BJP are party to the bifurcation. and the special incentives are given to set the state on a firm footing after 4 years let's take a look at the status of promises given to ap resource gap the ap chief secretary has submitted a report to the central government which estimated the revenue deficit as 15300 crores The, the revenue deficit was to be given in the first budget Arun Jaitley tabled in the parliament on July 10th 2014 but till date only 3979 crores has been given in installments an amount of 12000 crores is still pending to be paid by the union government special category status The central government has not given special category status till date although it was the most important item given to AP for bridging the resource gap. The central government has been suggesting various alternatives citing that the 14th finance commission has discontinued special category status whereas the members of the same commission have categorically stated that no such recommendation was made and some of the states continue to enjoy the special category status which was extended by another 5 years recently 
ఫిబ్రవరి ఇరవయ తారీఖున ఆనాటి ప్రధానమంత్రి ఏవైతే హామీ ఇచ్చాడో ఈ యొక్క స్పెషల్ స్టేటస్ గురించి ఇది తప్పకుండా చెయ్యాలి Capital and Urban Infrastructure The AP government submitted proposals for construction of government buildings and associated infrastructure for 10000 crores Only 1500 crores have been released till date There is no commitment till date on how much support the center will extend Employment generating industries Dogarajapatnam port with a target to complete phase 1 by 2018 the estimated project cost is 8,000 crores. The centre, after delaying for four years, informed in 2018 that ISRO is objecting to the proposed port site. It took four years for the centre to decide on the site. Establishment of steel plant at Kadapa. The estimated project cost is 20,000 crores, but there has been no headway made in the project. Petrochemical complex. This project is estimated to cost 32,900 crores. The project is pending as the PSUs are asking for viability gap funding. The central government has put forth a flimsy argument that the state should fund the viability gap. Vizag Chennai Industrial Corridor. There has been little progress on behalf of the central government. State has taken loan from ADB to fund the corridor development. Despite the corridor being included as part of the National Industrial Corridors, National Industrial Corridor Development and Implementation Trust, NICDT, has not taken over the project as yet. Railway Zone Andhra Pradesh has four profitable divisions which were to be brought under a single zone. There was no progress for the past four years and the latest budget also doesn't mention the same. The health and educational infrastructure was concentrated around the capital Hyderabad of the combined state and there was a need for quickly establishing the same in the new state of Andhra Pradesh. That is why the Reorganization Act has promised the establishing of full functional institutions by the end of the 13th plan that is the year 2022. The budgeted outlay for the institutions is 12,000 crores. Andhra Pradesh has already allotted lands which are worth 11,500 crores for these institutions. But the centre has allotted only 567 crores over the past four years. At this rate, it will take 75 to 80 years to complete defeating the very purpose why these institutions are allotted to the state. In case of some of the institutions like Central University and Tribal University, the central government has put them in cold storage. And even after four years, the act to establish them is pending. Polavaram is the lifeline of Andhra Pradesh and the first major project which would facilitate linking of peninsula rivers. It will not only stabilize agriculture in Krishna and Godavari deltas, but will also take water for drinking and irrigation to the parched lands of North Andhra and Rayalaseema. Although the project is declared a national project with 100% funding for irrigation component from the center, the center continues to put obstacles in its progress. Out of the 7,500 crores spent by the state, the centre has reimbursed only 5,000 crores, forcing a cash-starved Andhra Pradesh to suffer further to achieve its goal of completing it by 2019. The state is losing 250 crores due to interest loss and the centre till date has not approved the revised project estimates as per 2014 rates. All economic and HDI indicators reveal that the three North Coastal districts and four Rayalaseema districts are closer to the special category states rather than the other southern states. These districts lack economic growth engines and have substantially poor infrastructure and therefore are unable to attract investments. Their development is expected to cost 23,500 crores at a per capita 
of 10,000 rupees in lines with the Koraput Bolangir Kalahandi and Bundelkhand package announced by the Prime Minister in the Parliament. The state has asked for 200 crores per year for each district for eight years. But the central government has released 50 crores per district for the past three years at a per capita of just 420 rupees. The above facts reveal how the central government has systematically diluted all the promises made to the fledgling state of Andhra Pradesh. Instead of placing the state on a firm footing, they have compelled the state to limp on one leg towards progress. The people of Andhra Pradesh have been patient and trusting, expecting the government of the centre to fulfil the promises made by the top democratic institutions of the country. But the tolerance of the people has reached the tipping point, when there was not a mention of the plight of Andhra Pradesh in the last union budget of the present government. To add insult to injury, the government at the centre has been blatantly peddling a false narrative and the members of the ruling party have been making loud proclamations that the centre has fulfilled the promised assistance. Trying to hoodwink the people of India into believing their gobelish propaganda by projecting the rightful demands of the people of Andhra Pradesh as unreasonable. The truth is that five crore Indians have been given a raw deal. Their anger is justified.